In this problem, we're going to solve this differential equation. So this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So to solve something like this, what we do is we write down what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. So the formula, uh, the way to come up with it rather, is to just match the derivatives. So this is the second derivative. So you just write m to the second power and then plus two. This is the first derivative, so you just do m to the first power, minus 3. You can think of y as the 0th derivative, so it's really m to the 0, so you don't have to write it because m to the 0 is 1. And this is equal to 0. So now we have to solve uh, this quadratic equation. I believe this factors. Let's try it. So we have uh, parentheses m, parentheses m, equal to 0. So we need two numbers that multiply to 3, so 3 and 1, and one of them has to be negative. So I think the 1 has to be negative because when you add uh, negative 1 plus 3, we want to get a positive 2, right? So um, yeah, this looks good. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and then negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So we set each factor now equal to 0, and minus 1 equals 0, and then here we have m plus 3 equals 0. So here we get m equals 1 and then here we get m equals uh, negative 3. So we have distinct real roots. So whenever you have um, distinct real roots in a problem like this, the solution is given by the following formula. It's big C sub 1 e to the m1x plus big C sub 2 e to the m2x, where m1 and m2 are your distinct real roots. And it doesn't matter which one you put first. So it'll be c1 e to the 1 times x, so that's just e to the x, plus c2 e to the negative 3 times x. And that would be the final answer. So not so bad. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.